Hey, what is up guys, Repturek here, and today, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to make a free Minecraft server with Aeternos in 2021. But, uh, first of all, I made a, a video of how to make a Minecraft server with Aeternos last year, but it is a bit outdated, the video is not very good, and lots of people have been having issues, and so here, today, I'm going to be showing you how to make the server, then I'm going to be addressing a really uh, common issue that a lot of people have, uh, which is the failed to verify username issue and I get thousands of comments uh, asking me how do I fix this how do I make this stop happening because I want to join my server and it won't let me and today I'm going to show you how to make the server and then how to fix it but before we get into the video I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed and liked the video it helps me out a lot and our current goal is 2,000 subscribers and uh, yeah let's get into the video so first of all you're gonna to wanna to head onto adernos.org. Uh, there will be a link in the description, but it's not complicated at all. You just type in adernos.org, that's it. Head over, hit play at the bottom right. And then you hit sign up. You can also sign in with Google or Facebook, but this is the best way. Then you can choose whatever username you want. So I'm gonna put, oh, that already exists. Oh no, it doesn't, okay. And then you have to agree. To these two boxes just check them and then hit next and then you have to type in a password retype your password and then you can put an email but it does say optional um, don't put in an email it's really not necessary and then once you have your password in you hit sign up and it might ask you to do this uh, just you just do it real quick and it's not a big deal and as soon as you've hit sign up and you've verified um, then it will take you to this screen over here and so what you're gonna have to do is press create a server and then here, you're gonna have your uh, some, some settings for your server. So since your username account is, well, my username account in this example is repdirect 2 the IP for the server is repdirect02.tenos.me. But if you click on this pencil over here, you can edit this to call it whatever you want. Like, for example, all right. And then here you can change, uh, it's just customizable, you can just change what it says right under your server when you're gonna join it. It's, you don't have to change it at all. But I'm just gonna remove the 0 2 because it doesn't look nice. There. And then here you can select if you want it in, if you want to make your server in Java Edition or Bedrock Edition. Uh, this just depends on what, what type of game you're playing. If you're playing on a mobile device, then Bedrock. Or if you're, uh, if you're playing on a computer, then Java Edition. And then you hit Create. And then it'll take you to this panel. And this is your this is your main server panel, okay? So uh, this is where you're gonna be starting your server. This is where you can find the IP of the server, etc. And then you'll see on the left you have much more uh, different like sections, uh, which we'll be talking about later. For now, let's just start up the server. So this is really big green button here that says start. It couldn't be more obvious. And before we actually start the server, we have to make sure that you're in the right version because here, you can change the version that the server is in, and if you, uh, you can make sure that the server that the version, the version that the server is in, sorry, and the version that your game is in are the same version, otherwise you won't be able to join the server because it'll be outdated or it'll be too new. So if your, your server will by default be in 1.16.5. But if you want to play in uh, 1.8.9, then you can click here and then change it. For example, change it to 1.8.9 and then that's it. But I don't want to do that. So you can just uh, click back here to get back to your server homepage. And then, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna press start and then it's going to start, start up your server. And then it'll be asking you a few things. Um, just accept. It asks you to accept the Eula of Mojang. Yes, there's no problem with that. And then it starts starting your server. And then it asks you to send you a notification so you can, so they will notify you when you're almost through the queue. So you have to hit OK. And then uh, why they do this is so that there aren't servers starting for no reason. So once you're close to the end, to the, um, to the begin, to the queue, being ready to start your server, they'll ask you if you're sure you want to start your server, just to make sure. And then uh, the most important part is you hit this connect button here, and this is the, your server IP, okay? You'll notice 
it's the same thing that's written here okay so you just copy this to your clipboard and then you're ready now you have, now you have to wait until the server is ready oh look waiting in key hit confirm okay so as you can see uh, the green the, the bar has turned green and you'll notice a few things first there's this little counter here okay we'll get right back to that then you have the stop and restart buttons which do exactly what they say stop the server restart the server okay and as you'll see this um, timer here says six minutes and 15 seconds and so what happens is if you don't join the server before that counter reaches zero then the server will shut off so you have to start up your minecraft fast or have it open already before you set the server and then just join and we'll get there in a second okay so as you'll see we have minecraft open now so you can head on to multiplayer and now there are two options for anyone to join your server uh, direct connection and add server so first of all direct connection is the simplest one you paste your IP in there and then you hit join server okay and then the add server is to add a little like icon a server to your server list so it's faster to join so you just have to paste the link into here change the title if you want or not you can just leave a dot or whatever and then you just hit done and then it says here so as you can see you just have to click onto this to join the server and then it'll say it's connecting okay so once uh, you join in it might take a little bit because it's the first time uh, to join the server so it's to load up everything in for the first time but yeah, now you have a Minecraft server, and you can send your friends the IP of the server, and they can use either direct connection or add server. And yeah, that's that's it. That's that's it for the video. I'm kidding. That's not the end of the video. I still haven't told you how to fix the failed to verify username issue. So, what you're gonna have to do is turn off your server. If you're getting the failed to verify username. Uh, issue when you're trying to join the server you're gonna have to first turn off your server and then you have to head over to the options section over here on the left of your server and then you have to scroll down and when you find this option here the cracked option so the error failed to verify username is happening because if you have a pirated version of Minecraft saying you didn't pay for it what's gonna happen is that it won't let you join the server because you didn't pass it through the you didn't pass through the restrictions because your username isn't in the Mojang database. So to stop that from happening, you're gonna have to turn the cracked version on. Once it gives you this little check mark here, then you can restart your server again. And another question that's been asked to me a lot is how to get cheats on your server, like slash game mode creative, right? And so, well, I can't demonstrate it right now. My server isn't online. But when your server is online, you go into console over here. You scroll down, and there will be. Um, it will not say offline. It'll, it will be online, and it will, there will be a little uh, text chat here in which you can write in, and you have to write in slash o p space and then your Minecraft username, right? And then hit enter and it'll set you up as a server administrator so you can use all the uh, commands that are not available to server administrators and the thing about i like about Adeno so much is it has so much customi customizability uh, for example here in options you can do so many things like you can change the amount of players that can join you can change the game mode you can have a whitelist you can turn off pvp the nether spawn protection you can turn you can change so many different things and then you can have different worlds on the same server and you can have a you have a log for the players who join players who leave it's just so customizable it's great and yeah i mean i hope this um video helped you if it did don't forget to subscribe it helps me out a lot uh we're on the way to 2000 subscribers which is pretty cool and yeah i'll see you in my next video i hope this helps